right, people. The day is upon us. Gamescom 2012 Black Ops 2. Today is the day you people will be getting spammed with all kinds of Black Ops 2 information, and that's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing because we got a little sneak peek yesterday. We got a glimpse. Really liked what I saw. And a lot of people, even a lot of Black Ops 2 haters, a lot of Treyarch trolls and haters, even one of the most notorious Treyarch haters, my boy El Prez, has done a complete 180. He's back on the Treyarch bandwagon. So, Prez, welcome back, baby. Welcome back. Good to have you back. And oh, eat that nade, biatch! <laughs> Stupid death. And I noticed these dudes are spamming spy planes already, so uh, you know you know the policy, people. You know the policy. You spam spy planes. Say what's up to Ghost Pro Thunder. Equipped with Warlord and three decoy grenades. But guys, look, man. I saw the list of tactical grenades for Black Ops 2, and uh, I didn't see any decoy grenades. So, <sighs> looks like the decoy grenades will die here in Black Ops 1. Decoy grenades, I am going to miss you. And let me tell you people, all you people out there who think that the decoy grenades are useless, trust me, they're not. And all my members of Team Decoy will back me up on this shit. You get a whole squad of dudes throwing decoy grenades, it completely screws up the other team. It absolutely does. It, it dominates. Uh, especially the sound whores, the people that like to run around with Ninja Pro. And Ghost Pro and Silence Guns. You get a whole team of guys throwing decoy grenades at players like that. Forget it. They'll dashboard. Trust me. Trust me. I speak from experience. They will leave the game. They don't want nothing to do with that shit. But <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. So Gamescom. Uh, Gamescom is here today. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see some more Black Ops 2 footage. And uh, look, man, I want to address a few things real quick. Now, last night I uploaded that video, The Crate Pirate. <laughs> and uh, it was a quick video because, you know, I worked all day. I came home and I had to do some yard work and I had to chill with the wife, so I didn't really have a lot of time to sit and, you know, make a big video, but, uh, look, man, I, I asked you people, what did you think about, you know, the Black Ops 2, the 50 minutes of gameplay footage, you know, all the Black Ops 2 footage that came out yesterday, what did you guys think about it? And a lot of the comments were pretty positive, a lot of you guys seemed pumped, but then there were some other guys saying, yo, dude, I didn't like all the panic knife and I was seeing. I definitely did not like all the panic knifing I was seeing. I was like, wait a minute. I watched that uh, 50 minutes of gameplay, and yeah, there was a few knives and shit, but I did not hear this guy at all, man. I, so, yeah, there was a few knives and all, and uh, but it didn't look like it was OP. It didn't look like Commando. I saw a lot of people missing with the knife, fellas. I saw a whole hell of a lot of people missing with the knife. And another thing, man, the voice acting in Black Ops 2. I don't want to be negative, but let, let's, be, let's be honest. Let's be real. Did you guys hear the lame-ass voice acting? What happened to the World at War voice actors, man? How come those guys were never brought back? Were they too good? Did they want too much money? I mean, Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Oldman, uh, the, the German dude. I mean, all those guys were amazing. Why don't you bring those guys back? They were the best. I don't think, Treyarch, Vondahar, all you guys, I don't think you realize how good the voice actors of World at War were. I mean, you just hear those voices, and it's just like, it, it pumps you up. Like, I heard uh, the dogs get called in on a gameplay yesterday, and this was the voice actor, right? It went something like this. Enemy canine unit spotted. Like, really? That's your voice actors? Whatever happened to, bring in the dogs! Or, our hounds will tear them to shreds! Like, what happened to that, man? That's what I want to hear. That shit, that shit gets me pumped up, man. But it's not coming back, dude. The voice acting is lame, but voice acting does not make a game. Uh, camo definitely does not make a game either. And people, did you guys notice any gun camo yesterday in any of the footage you saw? I didn't notice any gun camo at all. I saw some, you know, player card emblems, I think. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. But I definitely know I didn't see any gun camo. Now, Treyarch did say that they're going to, you know, have a lot of incentives to prestige in this game. So maybe if you go prestige, you're going to see some, you know, there's going to be an option to unlock gun camo. I mean, gun camo is the shit. We all love customizing our guns. I think if they make gun camo unlockable after you prestige, you're going to see a whole bunch of people prestiging because everyone wants to get that camo. And I cannot wait to see what kind of camo is going to be in the game. Uh, another thing I noticed, dude, and I don't know if this is true, but everyone's telling me that there is no kill streak loadout per class like Modern Warfare 3 had. It's going to be just like Black Ops where you pick your three kill streaks and that's it. You're stuck with that for every class. I hope that's not true, dude, because sometimes you go into a match and you're just like, all right, these guys are good. I can't be running my high streaks against these guys. I got to go low. So, you know, you switch to a class with some low streaks, you know. I like that option. Uh, if you're stuck with one set of kill streaks for every class in Black Ops 2 like you were in Black Ops 1, 
Uh, that, that's not good, dude. And here come the Kujos right here, baby. Here come the dogs. Enemy canine unit inbound. No, nah, hell no. Fuck that shit. You know how we do it. Bring in the dogs. Yeah, baby. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. Hey, I know it's too late now, but guys, Black Ops 3, man. Get, get, some, get some good voice actors, dude. Get Samuel L. Jackson up in this bitch. Samuel L. Jackson would be the greatest voice actor ever. I would absolutely love it. Does he look like a bitch? Come on now, Sammy. We all know the answer to that one. Of course he does. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, noobs, thank you so much for flying Thunder Airlines. I'll see you again on the next video. And, alright, people, this video's winding down. We're getting close to the end. I know, I know. Don't worry, there'll be more videos coming shortly. Uh, uh oh. Something's hostile. Hostile what? Oh, yeah, the RC car. Yeah, guys, the RC car is back in Black Ops 2. God damn it. How is, how is that thing back? Uh, you know, whatever, guys. Look, let's, let's be positive. Let's look on the bright side. At least with the RC car around, maybe there'll be more people running RC cars than spy planes, you know? And we all know how bad spy plane spam is. If y'all played Modern Warfare 3, the spy plane spam is kind of ridiculous. Uh, hopefully, Flak Jacket will protect you from the RC car. Uh, in, in Black Ops, the Flak Jacket did protect you most of the time from the RC car, but not all the time. Uh, you guys all know the trick, right? RC car gets next to you, you're wearing Flak Jacket, just jumping back up, and it will not kill you. It's almost impossible unless you're already damaged. And, uh, yeah, man, Ghost. So, Ghost, when you're rushing, you don't show up on the UAV. I think that is great. And, of course, people are already thinking of ways to beat that system. It's like, well, I could just stand up and down and go up and down. As long as my character's moving, I won't show up. Or I could just spin around in circles. I won't show up. Look, guys, we don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if you have to be moving in a certain direction. And how the hell does this guy kill me? Whatever. <laughs> Shot me through the smoke. Get on, son. Uh, we're gonna see. I mean, no matter what you do, this community is gonna find a way to fuck shit up. That's one thing I know for certain. So, <laughs> let's just wait and see how this all plays out. And all you people who are hating on Black Ops 2 already without even playing the game just based on what you saw yesterday? Guys, really? Look, man, no one's forcing you to play this shit. Just follow my example. I didn't really like Modern Warfare 3 too much because of the whack spawn system, the fucking stupid death streaks, the lag compensate. They, look, I didn't like it that much, so guess what? I, instead of playing it every day, you know, making a lot of money, but playing it and complaining every day, I wasn't going to do that shit. I chose not to do that. I just didn't play the game. And I was much happier for it. I think all of you have noticed how different my mood has been since I just stopped playing that shit and just play what I enjoy. And here you go, guys. Here's the end of the gameplay. Look at these guys. Look how shitty my teammates are. My God. Curse of the Green Triangles 4. These guys are running Stevie Wonder Pro, Ray Charles Pro, and Helen Keller Pro. And, and the immortal words of Chris Move. Get these guys some death streaks. <laughs> and remember, people, when you're out there owning and pwning, but somehow you're still losing, remember, it really isn't your fault. It's just the curse of the green triangles. <laughs>